Hi, and welcome to this edition of the Our Catholic Prayers Podcast. I'm Christopher Castagnoli for OurCatholicPrayers.com. The well-known exorcist, Father Gary Thomas, once commented that, as he put it, The devil hates Latin. It is the universal language of the Church. He further continued that from his own personal experience and that of other exorcists, Latin was the most effective language in battling demonic forces. Without imputing demonic motives here per se, the Latin Mass itself has been severely curtailed over the past couple of years, since Pope Francis issued his apostolic letter Traditionis Custodis, on July 16, 2021, placing restrictions as to where and when it could be said. The Mass in the Vernacular, established in 1970 under the pontificate of Pope Paul VI, better known worldwide as the Novus Ordo, which most of us attend, is efficacious in giving us much-needed grace from our Lord. However, Many people feel that the Latin Mass, in its texts and rubrics, is that much more so and inspires more people to strive to live lives of holiness. Although I am one who goes to the Novus Ordo Masses in New York City, where I live, that are quite reverential and respectful, without any liturgical abuses or liberties taken that have been observed in some dioceses, I nonetheless feel that the Latin Mass itself can be that much more fruitful in giving us the graces we need desperately in these most troubled times. I will link to a site in the description page for this podcast that lists where Latin Masses are still being celebrated. Ironically enough, I learned the Our Father, the Pater Noster, in Latin in a Novus Ordo setting at St. Patrick's Cathedral, when we'd all sing it in Latin in the 1015 Mass on Sundays. It took me a little while to memorize this, but once I got it, I had it down pat. While I am quite sympathetic to those who love the Latin Mass and have been understandably upset at its curtailment, as one who has found value in a well-done Novus Ordo Mass, I nonetheless offer here the following familiar prayers in Latin. Think of these hopefully as a good part of the armor of God that St. Paul spoke of in his letter to the Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 11. If you can't go to a Latin Mass, you can still say these prayers in Latin once you memorize them. And remember, as mentioned earlier, the one who will not serve, Lucifer turned into Satan, who hates you, also hates Latin. Add these prayers and others like it on web pages I will link to in the description page for this podcast to your daily prayers or as you see fit. I will be reciting here some of the most basic prayers we all know, first in English and then in Latin. If you'd like to print them out, you can do so from pages I will link to in the description page for this podcast. Hopefully, My short selection here will whet your appetite to explore more Latin prayers further from these links. If nothing else, think of the musical settings of the Our Father, the Hail Mary, and the Hail Holy Queen in Latin, so you can memorize them more quickly. I will link to musical settings of these in the description page for this podcast as well. Sadly, the Latin Mass, also known as the Tridentine Mass or the traditional Latin Mass, is seen by too many clerics these days as a relic of a bygone age to be discarded for the sake of some supposedly more progressive church keeping up with the times. It has even been the strange and in this regard quite troubling focal point of the FBI as needing investigation. It's as if they think there is something subversive going on in this liturgy against the progressive panacea, the woke utopia that both government and media are enamored with and trying to foist on us all. Be that as it may, 
Hopefully, those of you who wish can still find Latin Masses in your area. I will link to a great site that gives both times and places of Latin Masses around the country, including those that might be in your area, in the description page for this podcast. And for those who can't, hopefully these prayers in Latin can help you grow in holiness. May they help you, as with other prayers both in English and Latin, along with living a sacramental life for our Lord and Our Lady, in keeping the devil and his minions at bay. And may these satanic beings fail in establishing any kind of demonic foothold in any of our souls. In conclusion, let me say, Christus vincit, Christus reniat, Christus imperat. Christ conquers. Christ reigns. Christ rules. Amen. And now, on to the prayers themselves. I apologize in advance for any deficiencies in my accent. First, the sign of the cross, followed by the Our Father. The sign of the cross. Signum crucis. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. And now the Our Father, also known in Latin as the Pater Noster. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Pater noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum. Adveniat regnum tuum. Fiat voluntas tua, sicut in celo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis hodie, et demite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitibus debitoribus nostris. Et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malo. Amen. And now, the Hail Mary, the Ave Maria. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in hora Mortis nostre. Amen. And now, the glory be. Gloria Patri. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Gloria Patri, et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc, et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. And now, the Hail Holy Queen. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita dulcedo et spes nostra salve. Ad te clamamus, exules filii heve. Ad te suspiramus, gementes et flentes in hac lacrimanum vale. Ea ergo, advocata nostra, ilos tuos misericordes oculos ad nos converte. Et Jesum benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc auxilium ostende. O clemens, o pia, o dulcis virgo, 
Maria. Thanks for listening. I'm Christopher Castagnoli for OurCatholicPrayers.com. Please feel free to share this podcast. And if you're listening to it on YouTube or some other host that allows you to subscribe to podcasts, we'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to the Our Catholic Prayers podcast channel. Until next time, God bless.